Everything you think you know about space is a lie. The planets don't actually orbit around the sun. Don't believe us? We've spent countless hours debunking all of the lies ever told about space so you don't have to. We're going to learn the truth about how our bodies react in space. Will we instantly freeze and die without a spacesuit? Once we figure that out, we can learn what the sun actually looks like and what space travel is really like. Spoiler alert, it's not like the movies. So strap yourself in because the truth isn't out there. It's here! First things first, imagine you step out into the vast void of space, only to realize you haven't fastened your spacesuit! In an instant, you freeze up, you turn into a human popsicle, and then explode into a million tiny ice cubes! Right? Wrong! It's all a lie! Now, I'm not saying that you would be able to survive among the stars without a spacesuit, but the whole frozen explosion that you've seen in the movies would not happen. Human skin is actually strong enough to resist the vacuum of space. Also, space isn't all that cold in general. Space doesn't have a temperature at all. This is because the way we determine hot and cold temperature is a measurement of the speed at which particles are moving. Space, by definition, is empty meaning there are no particles, which in turn means there is no temperature. But what about the heat from our own bodies if we were to find ourselves in space? Heat is transferred in three ways. Number one, conduction. This is where heat is transferred by direct contact, like when you touch a hot stove. Number two, convection, where heat is transferred through fluid, like in the boiling water inside the pan on that hot stove. Number three, radiation, where heat is transferred through electromagnetic waves, like from the fire beneath the pan. This is also how the sun's heat is transferred. The first two examples here involve particles, pieces that physically touch, whereas radiation does not. So if you were to find yourself floating in space where there is no atmosphere, the heat from your body would only have one of these three ways to leave your body. Radiation. And so it would so incredibly slowly. This is why you would not freeze to death as soon as you exposed yourself to space. So no instant icy death. What would happen then? Well, you would actually overheat in space, because back on Earth, your body heat is able to dissipate via conduction and convection. But that's not going to happen in space. You aren't going to burn up or boil to death, though. You would die from a lack of oxygen. After around 15 seconds in space without a helmet, you would lose consciousness. After around a minute of that, oxygen deprivation would kill you. That seems enough to put some people off becoming the next astronaut ace. It's better than freezing, at least. Which brings us to our next lie. Freezing in space seemed unlikely with that monstrous yellow ball of flames we call the sun, right? Well, that's not exactly accurate. The sun is not a big ball of fire. Our superstar sun is a giant cloud of gas. It's not burning or on fire. Instead, it gets its glow or blinding light from its process of nuclear fusion. This occurs when two entities smash into each other, fusing and releasing enormous energy in the process. The two entities in question here are hydrogen and helium. There is no fire, and that leads us to another lie debunked, the true color of the sun. The sun is not yellow, or orange, or red for that matter. The sun is actually white. The reason we see it as yellow is because our atmosphere scatters blue light, leaving us to see a yellow sun and a blue sky. Perception is everything, except when it's not. After all, did you know that the Earth is not a perfect sphere? It's time for line number four. It involves the true shape of Earth. Don't worry, this isn't an exercise in flat Earth theory. Earth is an irregularly shaped ellipsoid. Our planet bulges at the equator, giving it a kind of weird oval shape in a sense. Yet even that is not quite correct. Earth is always changing in shape. 
This is due to the changes in the sea levels and tides, and can sometimes be the result of devastating natural disasters like earthquakes. In short, Earth is a little all over the place. Are you ready to get behind the control of a spaceship and face some of the toughest truths that our universe has to offer? We're also going to teach you the truth about the biggest lie in our solar system, but more on that later, for now. Suit up, space soldiers, you're about to face the ultimate test, seen in such Hollywood productions as Star Wars, Star Trek, and Interstellar. You must navigate your ship through a dangerous and deadly asteroid belt. Sorry, film fans, it's another spectacular space lie. The asteroid belt is a circular-shaped region in our solar system that contains millions of rocks, debris, and minor planets. Essentially, these all fit under the umbrella name of asteroids. Flying through the asteroid belt sounds and looks a lot like a near-death experience for any willing pilot. At least that's how the movies make it appear. The problem is, the tiny planets and giant space rocks are actually, on average, around 600,000 miles apart. Overall, there is plenty of space for you to fly your ship through without worrying of getting whacked. But what if you do steer the ship wrong and smash into an asteroid? Explosions aplenty, you better call for help. Lies number six and seven. Space explosions are awesome, and in space, no one can hear you scream. First off, let's address the alien in the room, or at least the tagline from the classic science fiction movie. Sound does exist in space, just not on the scale we're used to. Remember earlier when we learned about particles, specifically about there being a lack of them in space? Well, sounds need particles in order to travel, and so without them, any sound fades away exceptionally fast, meaning you'd be able to hear your own screams for help, but sadly, not many other people would. On to explosions, though! Ships crashing into asteroids, bursting into flames! Ships shooting other ships with lasers and blowing them to smithereens! It's simply not possible! You see, in order to have fire, you need oxygen. In space, there is no oxygen. And so instead of a ship bursting into all shades of red and orange upon a deadly impact, it would instead break apart and crumble with little fuss. Oh, and unless you're actually on said ship, you aren't gonna hear any of the action because the sand would have too far to travel to make any noise that you could really hear. Survival with the stars isn't all that it was cracked up to be, hey? What's that? A tear in your eye whilst flying through the galaxy? Yes, despite popular beliefs, it is possible to cry in space. The waterworks work differently up here, though. In December of 2012, astronaut Chris Hadfield set lights, camera, astro action, and showed off this phenomenon via a video stream. The cosmic Canadian filmed his tears refusing to fall, instead sticking to his eyes like a glob of transparent jelly. This is thanks to the lack of gravity, of course. Wipe away those bubbles, because it's to learn the truth about the biggest lie you've ever been told about space. Planets orbit around the sun. The truth is, they technically don't, and that includes Earth. Planets actually orbit around a central point known as the barycenter. A barycenter is a dynamical point in space, not a physical object. Earth's barycenter is so close to the sun's core that it doesn't make much of a difference. It's just outside of the sun's red-hot surface. So you aren't that wrong to say Earth orbits around the sun. But for other planets, like Jupiter for example, the barycenter is around 55,000 kilometers away from the sun's core. We were once lied to about Pluto being a planet. Sorry, Pluto, but another troubling truth about our solar system is your next test. Which planet in our solar system is the hottest? If you chose Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, you've been lied to. Mercury has no atmosphere. Mercury has an exosphere made up mostly of gases, and so without an atmosphere to trap the sun's heat, it actually gets pretty cold sometimes. That doesn't mean Mercury doesn't get scorching as well though. During the day, 
This planet boasts temperatures of around 800 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night, with no atmosphere to lock that ludicrous heat down, temperatures on the planet plummet to minus 290. The hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. This is because Venus's atmosphere is made up of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. This keeps the sun's heat trapped and sees temperatures rise to an average of 867 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you enjoyed your space training beyond the stars. To truly pass this class though, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and if you're really looking to become an expert in all things intergalactic, check out this video on the planet even better than Earth. You won't believe just how good things get out there.